Welcome! On your assignment page is an assignment called Surface Gravity Assignment. In this assignment, you are given the diameter and mass of various planets and other celestial objects. Your job is to compute their radii, that's the plural for radius, and their surface gravity. Recall that Earth's surface gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Since the calculations are the same for each problem, you're welcome to automate the process by using a spreadsheet or a computer program. I'll show you how to use a spreadsheet. When you're finished, look over your answers and ask yourself, do planets with higher mass always have higher surface gravity? If not, can you find an example of a planet whose mass is greater than another planet's, yet whose surface gravity is lower? Recall that the formula for surface gravity, lowercase g, equals uppercase g, that's the universal gravitational constant, times the mass of the planet, divided by the radius of the planet, squared. Let's do a few problems from your assignment. Let's compute the radius and the surface gravity of the planet Mercury. Mercury has a diameter of 4,880 kilometers and a mass of 3.302 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms. The first thing we need to do is we need to turn this diameter into a radius and we need to change it from kilometers into meters. Okay, so we'd like to convert Mercury's diameter from kilometers into meters. Recall that its diameter is 4,880 kilometers. So we're gonna convert that into meters by putting 1,000 meters on the top. 1,000 meters is one kilometer. We're gonna put that in the bottom. Our kilometers are gonna cancel out. And as expected, we have 4880000 meters. And when you get comfortable with this, you're just going to take the kilometer version and add three zeros to the end. You can see that's all we end up with here. Now this number in meters is still a diameter. Remember, we need radius. Radius equals diameter divided by two. So in this case equals four, eight, eight, Zero, 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 zero meters divided by two equals two, four, four, zero, 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 zero meters. Okay, let's plug this into our assignment and see if we're right. Two, four, zero, 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 zero. And I'm wrong. What did I do? I must have forgot a zero. Two four four zero 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 zero. Two four four zero 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 zero. And we are correct. Okay, now let's compute the surface gravity of Mercury. Recall G equals big G, the universal gravitational constant, times the mass of Mercury, divided by the radius of Mercury, squared. The value for big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th. Because I'm going to use my mass in kilograms and my radius in meters, I'm, I'm going to leave out the units in this calculation. They can get a little sloppy. And from our assignment, we can see that the mass of mercury in kilograms is 3.302 times 10 to the 23rd. So we're going to plug this mass into our formula, 3.302 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms, and our radius, 2440000 meters squared. If I were to plug this into a TI-84, 
follow my button presses, we'd be doing 6.67. Now right here above the comma button are the letters EE. That stands for Enter Exponent. We'd like to use that. So we're going to press the second button, and then we're going to hit EE. Then we're going to press minus 11. We're not going to use the negative symbol up over here. We're going to use this button right here, minus 11. After that, we're going to hit the multiplication button, and we're going to enter the mass of Mercury, 3.302. And again, we're going to use this, this EE symbol, second EE, 2, 3. Then we're going to press the divided by button, and we're going to enter the radius of Mercury. 2440000. And we're going to press this caret button and 2, or a better way to do it is to press this button here that says x squared. The screen of your TI-84 should look like this. Depending on which version you're in, you'll have a caret 2, or the 2440000 will actually have a, a superscript squared. So 6.67, the letter E in the TI-84, I believe it's still a capital E, but it's a little bit flatter, a little shorter, minus 11 times 3.302 E, that stands for times 10 to the 23rd kilograms, divided by 2440000, that's meters, and squared, depending on which mode your calculator is in, it will look like this. And when we press the enter button on the TI-84, right down here, it should give us the answer. Three point six nine nine and a whole lot of more digits. The units of that would be meters per second squared. Let's round this off to three point seven meters per second squared, and let's enter this into our assignment. Three point seven. Submit and congratulations, we got it correct. We're going to use the same procedure to find the surface gravity of a lot of other objects. You're welcome to use your calculator to do this assignment, but you might find it easier to automate it using a spreadsheet. I'll show you how. This spreadsheet is called Google Sheets. It's available for free online to anybody who has a Google account. I'm going to start by making some columns here. The name of the planet, the mass of the planet in kilograms, the diameter of the planet in kilometers, because that's what's given to me in the assignment. Next, I need to convert the diameter into meters. Then I'd like to compute the diameter into a radius, also in meters. And finally, I'd like to compute the surface gravity in meters per second squared, or meters per second per second. According to our assignment, Mercury has a diameter of 4,880 kilometers and has a mass of 3.302 times 10 to the 23rd kilograms. Let's enter these values into our spreadsheet. So the name of the planet is Mercury. Its mass is 3.302. I'm going to use the letter E times 10 to the 23rd, just like the calculator. In this case, it's lowercase. The calculator showed you uppercase. It doesn't matter. We could type uppercase or lowercase, and Google Sheets will understand us. The diameter in kilometers given to us was 4880. And now I'd like to convert this diameter into meters. What I'm going to do when I'm in this box is I'm going to press the equal sign on the keyboard. Equals. I'm going to click this box right here, 4880. It tells me right here that I've included cell C2. This is C2. And what I'd like to do is multiply it by 1,000. So I'm going to type times 1,000. And here's my diameter in meters. I'd like now to convert to radius. And the radius is going to be equal, again, I press the equal sign of the keyboard, equal to the diameter, divided by 2. Radius is half the diameter. Press Enter, 
and here's my radius in meters. And finally, I'd like to compute the surface gravity. I'm going to press the equal sign, and I'm going to type in the value for the gravitational constant, 6.67e, that means times 10 to the negative 11. And now I'd like to multiply that by the planet's mass, which is here in cell B2. I'm just going to click B2, and it puts it right here. So now I have GM. I'm going to say divided by, and I'd like to enter the radius of, of my planet in meters, and it's this value right here in cell E2. And then I'm going to finish it off by using the caret sign, mean, meaning raised to the power of 2 squared. And when I press equal, I get a value of 3.7 times 10 to the 0 with. That's just a fancy way of saying 3.7. That's my, that's my answer. And if you take a look at the assignment, 3.7 is exactly what we got. Let's try this for Earth. Earth should be easy. We know the answer is going to be 9.8. Let's make sure that's what we get. Coming back to our spreadsheet, there's a little shortcut we can take. I'm going to highlight this entire row by clicking on cell A2 moving over to F2, holding the shift button and clicking it again, and I have a little box right here, and I'm just going to drag it down. And I get the exact same, at the exact same row is, is copied. So I'm going to change Mercury here to Earth. And I'm going to replace the mass here with the mass of Earth. Let's go back to our assignment and see what that is. The mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And the radius of the Earth, sorry, it doesn't give that, the diameter of the Earth is 1,200, sorry, 12,742 kilometers. So in this box for the mass of the Earth, I'm going to put 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. That's, that's the letter E from the keyboard. And the diameter that's given to me in the problem is 1,200, sorry, 12,742 kilometers. And when I press enter, I get 9.81, exactly what I was expecting. Let's give it a try. 6371000 and 9.81. 6371000 and 9.81. I can set up my spreadsheet to take as many objects as I'd like. I'm going to click here on, on row 3. I'm going to copy the row. I'm going to click, click here on 4. I'm going to paste the row. Okay, watch this trick. I'm going to delete the word Earth. I'm going to delete the mass. And I'm going to delete the diameter in kilometers. Then I'm going to click on 4. I'm going to click on the first cell of 4, A4, and I'm going to click on F4. And don't worry about this division by zero error. That's because we don't have any values in here yet. And I'm going to take this little square. I'm going to bring it down, and that should be plenty to finish the whole assignment. I can now come in here and type any object I want. Let's just make one up. Let's make up the planet Vulcan from Star Trek. I don't know what the mass of Vulcan is, but let's just say it's 5 times 10 to the 24th. 24 is a common um, exponent for planets. And let's just say that Vulcan was a little, a little smaller than Earth. Let's call it 12,000 kilometers. And we could see that Vulcan would have a surface gravity of 9.26. Well, that's it. Good luck on this assignment.